what is up guys happy monday today is november 12th monday november 12th and um, i just thought i'd vlog because it's been a minute so um right now i just did my client check-ins we are starting our third group of the 24 day jumpstart today so i'm excited for all those ladies um just been con in contact with them making sure they know what to do on their first day so i've been doing that it's about 12 o'clock now um i'm getting ready to go to the gym and then i have a massage appointment which i've been waiting for for so long but this guy is always freaking busy so finally get to have my deep tissue massage which is actually way more painful than it is relaxing but yes so and then after that i'm probably going to do some groceries then come home meal prep and yeah we'll see what else we have planned for the day so just thought i'd take you guys with me i'll show you guys some of my meals for the day as well and uh, my morning routine with my morning supplements and hit them with a flex because it's monday so I hope you're all having a great day and um, yeah, see you in the next clip. Oh, and this finger is still fucked. Okay, so starting my day with my probiotic, my apple cider vinegar, my aloe, my oil of oregano for sickness and my coffee. So, apple cider vinegar for, for digestion, for bloating, gut health, the aloe for gut health, inflammation of my gut, um, probiotic for gut flora, overall health, well-being, digestion, oil of oregano for sickness and preventative sickness it's also an antibacterial i just do one drop of this if i take too much it actually bloats me and it messes up your gut flora because it kills off too many good bacteria so just one to two drops don't go crazy on that i've also been using the cbd oil i've been taking this before bed um this is actually really helped with the inflammation of my body and especially in my gut um, it actually knocks me out. It makes me feel like it doesn't make me feel high, but it makes me feel Like my brain is just Zen and I can't I'm not really functional So I would never take this during the day because I would just be like a mess <laughs> So I take this before bed and I really 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 <clears throat> believe it's helped with my um, Inflammation especially because my body is naturally more inflamed and especially my gut. So it's helped me with that um this is 300 milligrams per dropper and I use one dropper. I put it underneath my tongue and let it sit there for a minute and then I swallow. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Like this is just my honest review and I'm actually pretty surprised because I was really skeptical in the beginning, but yeah, so I guess it really does work. <laughs> so I'm gonna measure out 45 grams. That's what I typically drink. I notice if I drink too much, it upsets my stomach. Um, it just creates an urgency to use the washroom. So this is like the perfect amount that I found works for my body. And if I didn't already show you, my copy of the day is this chocolate donut, which freaking smells amazing. It's non-GMO and it's zero calorie. So it's this um, coffee beans are coated with the flavoring before they're ground and um, it's sweetened with stevia so there's no artificials so this is bomb um, i can put the link down below it's called coffee over cardio and they ship to canada so that's a win so meal one is the same as always i'm gonna have five butter popcorn rice cakes three with coconut oil and okay. sea salt in the freezer that is major key and then i'm gonna have two with the double fruit jam with a tablespoon um, of the jam on each one this is like a lower macro jam um, it's sweetened with pectin so there is no sucralose and that's why i love it plus look at that chunk porn so that is meal one and then i have my fish on the side which is not in picture and yeah mm -mm -mm. So I came home to a package from Mammoth Mug. Um, so I'll show you guys what Joe sent me. 
So I got the new rose gold mammoth mugs. I have, I'm reunited with my red one that I left in Vegas. Um, I have the silver mammoth mug. And then reunited with the matte black because I broke mine like this. So I'm so happy to have my red one back because this was one of my favorites. And I'm so pumped for the rose gold because this is like freaking the shit. So thank you, Joe. I am so excited to finally have these. And he also sent me some cool swag. So he sent me an awesome hoodie, a new cardio sweater so you can never go wrong with that and then these sick ass sports bras which i am so pumped to wear today it is so freaking cute so thank you joe this is all new and i'm pretty sure he is now selling the apparel which is something new so freaking pumped to rock this guys and he sent me this freaking cute ass gym bag i am in love with gray and especially like a heather gray so i'm so excited to start using this one because my other gym bag smells like Ah, sour B.O. So it's about time, my friend. Aw, thanks, Joe. So I literally feel famished today and could probably eat my entire house. So I need to get out of the house before all my food is gone. It's fine. Do you ever have those days where you just like want to eat the world? Guys, it literally is dark so early. It's like 4.30 and it's like black outside. Okay, so I just finished at the gym. I'm going to my massage appointment now. And I just wanted to answer a quick question that I literally get asked at least twice a day. So the question is, drum roll please. How can I lose fat in my stomach while keeping a booty? You can't. Jesus Christ. If people only listened and understood. So let me tell you guys. When it comes to fat loss, we unfortunately cannot pinpoint or spot reduce or choose where we lose fat. Um, it's more determined by your genetics and where your body decides to lose first. But you can't target your abs and just train abs in hoping to lose the fat in your core while maintaining a booty. If you're in calorie deficit and you're trying to lose weight, your body is just gonna burn the fat wherever it burns it first. So um, for most people, it's usually the upper body first. So like your arms and your face, um, your chest, and then it kind of works downwards. Other people notice that they lose it in their legs first and their arms and then their stomach is the last thing to go. So it's just different for everybody. There is no um, correct, there is no like one way to lose fat and I think the main point of this message is that you can't spot reduce. So when it does come to abdominal fat and if you are wanting to like see your core more and try and have a more um, have a more defined midsection that really does come down to diet like I can honestly tell you guys if you clean up your diet within a week two weeks you will see a huge difference so not only does the food you eat play a role in your digestion it will also play a role in like how much water you retain um, and usually when you retain water it is in the midsection so if you clean up your diet get rid of dairy is like a number one thing for bloat if you get rid of dairy if you get rid of your artificial sweeteners and like your calorie free things or your halo top or anything like that get your fiber in check and under control then that'll reduce your bloating and any digestive issues that you may be having so if you can get rid of all that then you'll be able to see um, less bloat and you'll see a little bit more definition when you reduce the sodium and um, In your artificials you'll be holding less water so your core will look more defined as well There's a lot of things that you can do when it comes to diet um, to see more definition in your core um, So diet is a main portion of abs guys. We all know that abs are made in the kitchen 
So when it comes to abs and wanting to see more core definition, it does come down to diet for a majority of it. So some things you can do um, is to remove any artificial sweeteners you're consuming. So things like protein bars, um, protein powders, um, your sugar-free stuff like Walden's Farms, your zero calorie stuff. You want to be mindful of your sodium, so um, be mindful of the condiments you're putting on your food, like the amount of hot sauce and mustard and stuff like that you're using, salsa. Um, you want to be mindful of the salt you're adding to food. You want to make sure you're using either Himalayan salt or sea salt, um, not too much table salt, but table salt is good for iodine, um, which is good for your thyroid. You also want to be mindful and remove anything that is going to cause bloat or digestive issues like dairy, egg whites, it's another huge, 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 huge digestive, um, bothersome, it's another, it's another one of those things that really bothers people's digestive systems. It causes lots of gas, lots of bloating. Um, there's a lot of sodium in it. So also water retention. So by looking at all these things, you're going to be removing things that are going to cause bloat. You're going to be removing things that are going to cause water retention and things that are going to cause um, puffiness, um, swelling, any GI distress. And by decreasing the inflammation of your gut and by getting rid of those things that are going to cause you to hold some water and um, that are going to decrease the bloat, then that's when you will see more core definition. So abs are made in the kitchen. Like even if somebody is shredded and they have abs, if they're eating all these things that are causing inflammation, water retention, GI upset, bloat, their abs aren't going to look crispy and shredded because they're having so many problems in retention, inflammation, um, that their core won't look as good as if it, they were to reduce the inflammation, reduce the bloat, reduce the water retention. So even if you have abs or you don't have abs by focusing on your diet, that's where you will see the changes in your core and in the definition. So although you cannot spot reduce, there are things you can do to help um, make your core a little more prominent and help with that fat loss process and the making your core look more defined and prominent. So I hope that kind of helps and yes. Okay, so my post-workout meal, I have my fish and my zotes. And then I'm going to put my stevia. I like the alcohol-free one because I feel like it helps with my digestion. And that is my post-workout meal. And it's freaking 6 o'clock and pitch black out. What is this? So I'm just meal prepping my fish now. So this is tilapia. Um, I've laid it all out on a pan with some foil for easy cleanup. So I don't have to wash any pans when I'm done. I seasoned it with cayenne pepper and curry powder. And I'm gonna bake it at 485 for about 40 minutes. And I'll show you guys when it's done. Fish is done. Okay, so this is the bok choy. So this whole thing was $1.50. And I've already made two meals with it and I can probably get maybe three or four more meals. So six meals for $1.50 is like insane. And then this is the cabbage mix. It's a coleslaw cos mix. Um, and I just added some of that and this was on sale for a dollar. So I just wanted to try it out and it is so yummy. It's just red and green cabbage and some carrots. Okay, so what I have here is I have some bok choy and I added some of this cabbage mix that I bought. Um, it was on sale, so I wanted to try it out. And all I do is I add a little bit of water and I just like saute it in the water and um, I just chop everything up and yeah, don't mind my burnt ass pan. But I will add this to my meal and it's really yummy. And I don't put any seasonings on it, but I'm also the type of person who eats a lot of things plain, so yes. Okay, so I forgot to record, forgive me. I had 250 grams sweet potato, which I use my 
alcohol-free stevia on. I have my extra lean ground turkey, and then I had a can of my green beans. Um, I put cinnamon on my sweet potato, nothing on the ground turkey, and then this makes it. And I use the alcohol-free because sugar alcohols really bother my stomach. Hey guys, so I suck. I'm out trying the video now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Oh my god, I almost just dropped it. So I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this random ass boring video. And we'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so my last meal is legit the same as my first meal. I'm gonna have two butter popcorn rice cakes with this sugar-free jam. I'm gonna have some broiled zucchini, my microwaved fish. And then I'm gonna have three rice cakes with coconut oil. And that'll conclude my last meal. And this is the tablecloth that I found in the laundry room that I brought my laundry up that one time when somebody freaking stole my laundry basket, just so you know. And these veins. This ain't shit.